Hello, my name is Eric Flood and I'm with the Colonel North America Service Department. Today, we're gonna to demonstrate to you installation of the Colonel processor. As with all jobs with self-propelled machines, we need to make sure that we block the machine from unwanted movement with the provided wheel chocks or whatever you feel. We also need to use gloves as well as safety glasses. Let's not forget about safety. Lower our Colonel processor carriage, which is what my feet are on here by the positioning of the valves at the valve block here. The two lower sections here are for lowering the carriage. The upper section is for actually putting the KP into position. So there's a diagram which is above your head, which is up here, and you'll be able to follow those directions from here. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the lower, put it into position. We're gonna grab our arm, our jack. Make sure you go, you push your lock lever on the side that locks the KP into position, push it forward, and you should be able to go ahead and push this down. With this carriage in its lower position, now you're able to roll the KP underneath the step where the uh, big series choppers roll underneath where the door is, and you'll be able to set the KP into place at that point. Okay, at this point, once you've got it into the carriage up here, You'll raise it to this point so the wheels are off the ground and you'll be able to remove the caster wheels at this point and continue with the installation after you've laid the uh, electrical and grease lines onto the ground. So prior to raising the KP into position you will need to hang the lower hooks up here on top. To get it into the, this position you will release this, you'll fold them back down. They will fall into the uh, rear hooks here, and this is what you're going to be able to, to slide it into position. At this point, you will release this valve here, push it in there, and you will pull the other as to the diagram, and then you will begin to pump this into position. And once we get it slid up here, we will go ahead and lock the lock, release the pressure from the actual pushing mechanism. We would be putting on the KP belt. But the next step, we would install our grease lines. One is pressure and one is return. That is different from our big machines, which they are up here now. So this is what it looks like when it is completed. The KP belt is installed and the grease lines are all hooked up. You'll come to the valve on the front or on the side here, the left panel underneath the door, and you will switch it from grass and you'll bring it all the way around to corn. And on the final step in the monitor, you will have to change the uh, head from corn to grass by hitting the machine button up in the top right, go to seasonal settings, and you will do header profile, and you will select what you have for a head, Hit select and you'll be done. Thank you for listening to our educational video.